The Crimson Crow liaison had me deliver this letter to you, requesting you make for Arbertia. <laughs> I'm not privy to the details, but apparently there's a delicate task that needs entrusting to you.
Ah, you're finally here. A lord of the nobility has recently posted a lucrative assignment. I have reserved it especially for you. His family's priceless valuables were stolen by thieves. A hefty reward is offered to adventurers who capture the thieves and recover his possessions. Very well. The client is in the castle. You may approach him for further details. Another new adventurer. <laughs> Still nothing has been found, yet hundreds of people have shown up. Be swift with your questions, and when you're done, get on with the search. If any harm befalls me valuables, I'll reduce the reward. Indeed, a good many folk have been toon and frown the past half month. You didn't think the reward was based on headcount, did you? They heard the thief had fled into the Windspur Forest, then promised to recover the treasure. The result? Not a single one returned. I told them if they can't handle the Windspur Forest's monsters, then don't bother accepting the assignment. The thief stole me precious ancestral ring. It would take ten lifetimes of savings for a peasant like you to afford such a ring. I sent it for valuation a few days ago, and the appraiser said that the gem set in it holds great magical power. Perhaps it was then that the thieves' notice was aroused. <laughs> Respect is given to those who earn it. I hope you're not all talk.
see me. Can't see me. You find a human boy cowering in the bushes. <laughs> don't come any closer. Please don't. I'm a good boy. I'm... Heeding your reassurances, the boy opens his eyes and raises his head. Wah! A grown-up. Help! Save me! There's lots of monsters! And there's a child! All the monsters are scared of him! He's playing hide-and-seek with us! Wundar! Andal! Wah! Wudar! Wudar said this was a better hiding spot! He told me to hide here! He said two people together are easy to find, and then he... In the night, I heard Wodar crying, but quickly the crying stopped. A wood elf boy, he's amazing, but those monsters, nothing hurt them. Chasing and chasing, those monsters didn't stop. Andal warned us to run, but he never caught up. Everyone, everyone says I'm a scaredy cat. I thought if I go to the Windsper Forest, it'll prove I'm amazing and I'll be able to make some friends. So I came here, but I'm not amazing at all. I want to go home. My house is in Arbute. Granddad would definitely whack me with his spatula, but I really miss them. I want to see my grandparents so much. Really? You. You are too. Fix? Thank goodness you're alive. Wudar. You recall having met Ellie at the residence where Wudar once helped out. About those things transpired earlier, you inform him of them all. Is that so? That youngster. He is braver than I realize. The forest corruption had debated. I just wondered what was happening. Ellie's eye sweeps across the cleansed altar as he speaks. You've accomplished quite a feat, Traveler. It's the altar of germination, a place of wood elf worship. The Athelian elves will likely go loopy with delight if you told them of this wonderful deed. No. I merely thought a wood elf would be pleased by such news. Athelian? Um, I want you to do something. Athalian is Andal's hometown. When Andal went to fight the Sylvan Furies, I picked up his flute. Can you go there and give it to Andal's mom? If so, I'll take Finks back to Warbatia. Till next time, traveler.
just an old fella. Worry not. I am here. <laughs> Try to hurt me. <laughs> Don't move. Die. Trap. Of the... Don't move. Mm -hmm. Shall protect the capital till the end. <laughs> <laughs> 